from the monastery at Chai Manor. Here is Randall. The Gourmet Buddha. Today on the Gourmet Buddha, we are going to join Chef B. Love in the Chaima Mana kitchen. And today we are doing extracts. Good morning. <laughs> well, well, good morning. You know, back in the 60s, the subject was roses. But today? It's strawberries. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> and, 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 and back in the, in the 60s when TV dinners were all the rage and everything was instant. I knew there was a connection between good food and good health. We're getting to make, we're getting ready to make strawberry extract, but it's not like the ones they have in the store. Why? Because they're clear and you don't see a strawberry in them, and they're not even the color of a strawberry. If it was for real, wouldn't it have a color to it? I think so. Strawberries are red. At least the bottle would be pink, but it's pure white. All of the strawberry. Really? So what I think they do is put some kind of strawberry flavoring in there. And call it strawberry extract. Well, that's not nice. We don't mess around here. This is the real thing. This will be the real deal. And we stagger everything so it don't run out. There's no artificial anything in these. Right, but... But what you get? If you do them in batches, like when you're getting low, you can replenish and you never run out. Exactly. You rotate your stock. Yeah, you rotate your stock. So it looks like you have not washed the strawberries yet. I gotta wash them. I'm gonna wash them after I do this okay. instead of before. I guess. Don't forget the grit. The grit. <laughs> <laughs> the grit. Well, you know, under the leaves, there's stuff you don't get by just the first wash. A reject. Another one down. And look at that color. They are the color of a reason. So you'll eat them and spread the seeds. Well, the ones on the bottom do not look too good. That's very typical. And we just bought these a couple days ago, but I think it's not really. The season. Well, who knows how long they fed in the store. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you didn't pick them fresh. That's your best bet. Yeah. Yep. But we'll get a little harvest out of them. Yes, we will, as always. Wow. 
want me to um, slice them up? How do we do it? Yeah. <laughs> they look better already. Next we're going to mash them up. The old fashioned way. Good. They do. <laughs> they really do. Mm hmm. Mm. We are giving them the gift of a new life. As it is written, the Buddha came from a royal family. A wealthy royal family, and he was sheltered from the uh, pain and suffering of the people around him. And the first noble truth in Buddhism is the truth of Buddha, which just acknowledges pain and suffering. <laughs> I like your technique. As we are filming this, it's October. We're getting ready for the Monster Mash. <laughs> now the extract fun begins. I am emptying Gatorade bottles. And why? We're going to put the... Uh, strawberry extract in the Gatorade mm -hmm. bottle. It's a much heavier bottle and yes. the extract has to be shaken at least every day. At least. So this is more food quality. I'm not going to bust. Then we give the Gatorade away. Since mm -hmm. we can't drink all the Gatorade for all the no. extracts that we I make. I don't do good with glass. And it's best not to put glass, use glass. It's easy to break. So to, rather than to have a nice mess, it's better to be safe than sorry. Especially when I'm, when I'm shaking 50 bottles a day. <laughs> and if the glass bottle ever broke, there would be pain and, and suffering. Wash out the Gatorade bottles, and then we're ready to make our extracts. Okay. Next, I'm going to uh, divide the strawberries between these three jars that I've cleaned out. And all a strawberry wants to do is to contribute to life and probably health at the same time. And if you just tap it a little bit. The strawberries will go down. Toka is just the acknowledgement of suffering. If you don't see it, you can't do anything about it. Or maybe you try the straw. I also have a straw here. That's gonna work. To poke down. Yep. Just be creative. You can always think of something you can use to help you with the process. As I know, I am pretty good at coming up with Alternatives. This is going to have to set for about five months. At least. 
at least. We have all kinds of extracts and we try them every month to see how they're doing. If they've reached the flavor we want. And it's interesting to see how it changes week to week. In Buddhism, the second noble truth is to try to find the origin of Dukkha or the origin of suffering. Now we're done with that. Which usually stems from craving. Next to vodka. Next to vodka. The best part of the extract. <laughs> Which which can momentarily relieve suffering. Craving is also the, the, the failure to see satisfaction in the present moment. We're going to fill the jar, the rest of the jar up with just, it's just the vodka and the strawberries. That's all that we're putting right, stop in. right there. A little more. All right. And then the next step, it's supposed to be put in dark bottles, so we have our own <laughs> little trick that we do. <laughs> Wait till you see this. Wait till you th see the next step. <laughs> this is very good. Who knew? Who knew? This is a, a, a ghetto. I get home Hit inside chime up mana. <laughs> Who go? Now we're gonna take shake. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. There's color already right off the bat. Does that look like the extract in the store? <laughs> Wait till you see it five months from now. Oh, yeah. After you give it a really good shake, then we're going to do our last step. And this is ghetto fabulous. <laughs> we're taking old socks, clean old socks, and then you just slide the whole jar down in there and you got a dark jar. Why do you need a dark jar? You have to, for the extracts, have to be put in a dark place. And we have to keep them out because we're going to be shaking them every day, twice a day. So you just shake it, then we number it. on the top here. This helps us know 28. what it is. 28, 29, and 30. It's going to get logged into the computer and then dated in there so we'll know when it's ready. There you go. Ghetto Fabulous. It says, be love with your next tip. Let's see how this turns out. This is our first one we did. This is very exciting. We're going to take the top off now. And we're going to put cheesecloth over it. 
And then we're going to... Yeah, it's doubled up. You don't want it doubled up? Yeah. We're going to pour it in here. And this extract has been aged three months, which is not really a long time. This is just a test the status at the three month mark. There, yeah, look how dark it is. Look at that. <laughs> and the third noble truth in Buddhism is the cessation of Aduga, which can be believed if you. Take away the cause, which is primarily wanting and craving. It's a matter of letting go to things that you think are important, but are not. Patience is a virtue. Quote I said, if you can, always in a woman <laughs> and never in a man. Which takes us to the fourth global truth in Buddhism which is how all this can be accomplished. It is the eightfold path, having the right view, the right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration this is actually the pace here at Chima Mara and for some people they, they can't handle the, the quietude <laughs> so they they leave in a <laughs> they leave in a hurry. After all, this is a monastery. The pace is slow. This is a good opportunity to meditate. Patience. I think we might be at the end. Let's get a spoon and test it. The first test. Cinnamon, it's warm, you know, the, the vodka, you can taste the vodka and the cinnamon together. It's rum. This is rum. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can taste the rum and the cinnamon together. It tastes pretty good. Excellent. I might have a shot of it. Next, we fill the bottles. It looks like it's a success. We're going to put it in four ounce bottles. Again, a good time for a 30-second meditation.
This is after over two and a half months. This is over two and a half months. Room for the perfect. Perfect. Maybe make it a two minute meditation. Why not? I like the slow pace of all this. It's like you're right at the kitchen. Now the remainder we're going to put in a ball jar. What you? No. Perfect. The ball jar is told one cup. I told you there was one cup in there. And, and labeled. And labeled. Who knew? Who knew? I think that was a success. From the monastery at China Manor, I'm the Red Doll. The Gourmet Buddha. With Chef B. Love. Good night.